So as a team, as a collective, as a society of traders within trader society, we were able to make over six figures once again on Friday, having back-to-back six-figure days as a team, we did it once again. I'm going to share with you within this video how we were able to finish the week very, very strong. I'm going to be teaching you the educational strategies that we're able to use to consistently profit within the stock market. I'm also going to be sharing with you my upcoming trading plan on how I'm personally planning to make over five figures this week trading the SPY. I'm going to walk you through some day trading opportunities coming up on the SPY. I'm going to walk you through some swing trading opportunities coming up on the SPY. There's going to be some phenomenal micro and macro trades to be made within the market. Market. And this video is going to be teaching you the strategies. It's going to be preparing you for these upcoming trades. If you want to learn how to trade the best setups at the best prices, make sure you stay to the end of this video and do me a favor before we get started, smash that like button. So first things first, I want to give a big shout out to the members within Trader Society. You guys are absolutely killing it. Um, first, first week within the program, ended up making over $4,000 profit. That's over 10 times the cost to join Trader Society. So big shout out to him. You guys are absolutely crushing it. The consistency is here. Casper, a big milestone was made on Friday. Within two weeks of being in the program, he was able to surpass his account to be above 25K, no longer being under the PDT rule. That's a big milestone. Ended up making 14K in two weeks. Congratulations. We had many members. This guy right here turned 90,000 into 500K. Yesterday, his account was at 440,000. On Friday, with his spy call options he adopted, he ended up surpassing over 500K. There's been so many more results towards the end of this video. I'm gonna be teaching you guys the strategies. We're gonna be going over the stock price action analysis. We're gonna be going over all the results, all of the technical strategies, the trade recaps, all of that stuff. So make sure you stay to the end. So in terms of you know the updates on SPY, let's just kind of go over the price action for Friday real quick. And then from there, we're going to be getting into the updated trading plan. So in terms of the price action on Friday, what did SPY do? SPY ended up having a gap up. So the market ended up gapping up, right? And you could see when SPY was retesting this pre-market resistance here, there was a very nice opportunity to grab a put option once it started forming a double top, a triple top towards this uh, pre-market resistance. We saw a lot of bearish confirmations come in and on my squeeze indicator, it started turning dark blue, which is very bearish. Meaning you could take advantage of a very, very nice micro trade where you buy puts at the resistance, play for the gap to fill below. And once that gap fills, if you see SPY starting to react as a support level, what you do is you end up selling your put options, locking in profits because that's a bullish confirmation. And then you can go long once it starts to break out, once it starts to form higher support, once it starts to show signs that it's a gap close reversal. And especially when you see those previous pre-market highs turn into support right there, that's a confirmation to even add to your position if you didn't go long on the dip on the gap close reversal. So what I ended up doing in terms of Friday's price action analysis, I use the gap fill strategy, which means when a stock gaps up or an ETF or whatever it is gaps up, you get confirmations on when that gap is going to start to fill. And then you play for that gap to fill below. So once I saw those bearish candlesticks and the squeeze indicator turn dark blue and it retested the pre-market highs, it was struggling to break out multiple times on the morning gap up on the morning spike. I ended up alerting a short-term micro trade at 9.30 a.m. stating that I bought these spy put options. I got in on these contracts at $1.08. I sold them shortly after at $2.42. I sold 66% of my position and then I let the rest ride and the rest was the perfect sell. At 10.03 a.m., I alerted that I sold my entire position at $2.80 from $1.80, making a very, very nice lucrative percentage return on that trade or a nice quick $2,000 profit. And with that being said, I sold those put options perfectly at 10.03 a.m., literally towards the bottom of SPY or towards the high in those contracts. How was I able to know and understand that? Well, it's just understanding how my gap fill strategy works and then the gap close reversal strategy. So, you know, SPY had an overreaction. This ran from 4.10 all the way to 4.30s in like a day and a half. And with that being said, it's an overreaction. So I was interested in playing a put option, playing for the gap to fill below. I just needed to see if it can rip back up, which it did in the morning. It had its morning spike prior to it gapping up, right? 
and it started forming resistance towards pre-market highs. So that was my confirmation that the gap was going to start to fill for the micro. Seeing all the bearish confirmations, seeing the double top, seeing the triple top, seeing the quintuple top, seeing all your bearish confirmations, even on this bounce back up right here, it's forming new lower highs. It's turning this previous support right here into new resistance. This is all bearish confirmations, right? And then I'm playing for that gap to fill below. And then once that gap fills below, that's when you can see a reversal on the spot, which is called a gap close reversal. So the first strategy I used in terms of my entry was the gap fill strategy, you know, shorting into bearish confirmations towards the pre-market highs when it gapped up, right? And then in terms of my exit, I was using the gap close reversal strategy. I noticed that once SPY filled this gap, it started to consolidate. It started to form support. It was trying to break out. It was trying to bottom and it was trying to have what we call a gap close reversal, which is when SPY fills the gap and then it starts to have a reversal once it hits this line, once it fills that gap. And if you see that happen, that's a confirmation to sell the put options for profit. And then if you want, you can start to go long and you can start to buy calls. And then in terms of very bullish confirmations in terms of uh, call options or in terms of adding to call options. So you can buy the dip right here in terms of the calls. This is literally where I alerted to sell right here at 10.03 a.m. because it started to react as a support level, right? My sell was literally at 10.03 a.m. is exactly when I alerted. And you can see this is 10.03 a.m. This is right here at 10.03 a.m. Why did I alert to sell right here? Because it was consolidating at the gap fill level. It just had a nice pullback and it's starting to bounce. It's having a gap close reversal, which is very bullish. So then after that, if you want, and a lot of members did this, this is where they made a killing. They started buying calls, understanding that if SPY holds this key 428 gap, the level starts bouncing. And then in terms of where your confirmations to add when you're buying calls. So you buy the calls on the dip when it's forming bullish confirmations, when it's starting to bounce this level. In terms of adding, when you see the pre-market highs, when you see the previous day high, the high of day right here, and this was also towards pre-market highs, when you see that turn into support on the five minute chart right here it's turned into support start to break out more confirmation to not only hold but if you like to add to your call options right but this is just another classic setup of buying into that fear buying into the pullback so big shout out to those of you who played the put options on the little morning spike that was a very nice quick return from you know a dollar and eighty to two dollars and eighty cents and then even bigger shout out to those of you who took advantage of the full side of the move um with the call options as soon as i sold those puts spy ripped up like crazy throughout the entire day i gave several updates um within the chat that spy was still you know, micro bullish. There were several up updates giving. You know, 428 is the key bracketing level. If um the bulls bulls are still in control for the micro, as long as it stays above 428, it's on track for 434. And it stayed above 428 very quickly, had a positive reaction, and then it started to turn the previous high at 431, 432 into support, which caused the massive breakout running forward, right? Um, so with that being said, and this was all given within the analysis. I stated several times. I even upgraded, you know, so um, shortly into 10 a.m., SPY just filled the gap. Um, SPY remains micro bullish, you know, for the gap close reversal. And then I gave several updates, you know. And with that being said, I upgraded my target for the SPY at 446. And we had several members um, take advantage of this. So now let's kind of get into the updated price action analysis. Um, that was more kind of the recap sense in that trade. So in terms of the update, right? SPY is very, very bullish for the micro. And the reason why I'm saying it is it filled the gap. It turned it into key support. And that gap the level was very, very special because that is a key support zone. See where the bottom of these wicks are? The bottom of these wicks are right here at 427 to $432. If this zone reacts as support, which it currently is, what's going to happen? SPY is going to blast off. You see this candle right here compared to this candle right here. What do you think is going to happen? Boom. More upside is coming. SPY is going to fucking fly into this week. And another reason why I so strongly believe that and still bullish for the micro is because there's a gap to fill above at 446. And SPY is showing pure signs of strength. As it has, you know, so in terms of um, key signs that there has been um, a very bullish trend, you know, when SPY cracked this 420.80 level, it dropped all the way to 410. For the bears to remain in control for the micro, when it rips back up to the previous support, it needs to react as a resistance, like it did here, like it did here, right? Like it did here. Remember, whenever it cracks support, it rips back up to the previous resistance. That's why I told you guys I was selling my put options at market open on this day because SPY tends to rip back up quickly to the previous support level. But if it reacts, 
as turning that previous support into actual support like it did that's when the bulls take control in the trend and that's where the bears get screwed for the micro when the bulls turn previous support retest into actual support and that's what we're seeing happening so there's obviously been a, a great short-term uh trend you know where the bulls have been in control ever since that for um 28 level has reacted as support and they're showing even more signs of strength turning this uh key support channel right here these bottom wicks 427 to 430 into actual support right and if you just look at the candlesticks and if you look at that trend that i showed you spy is on track to run higher into this week the candlesticks are giving it all away the price action is giving it all away there's been a clear shift in price action in the trend that the bulls are in control for the micro so my target for the spy is going to be 446 dollars why do i say that there is a gap to fill at 446 dollars and 60 cents that is going to be the best price to buy the put options that is going to be my high conviction level of interest in trading puts for the micro that means in and out, you know, I'm, I'm day trading it, right? So if I see SPY hit 446 and it reacts as a resistance level, I'm going to play it for the gap close reversal, which is the same strategy that I just showed you in terms of the basics on the long side, I'm planning to do it the inverse now on the put side, right? So in terms of the short side, I'd be planning to buy puts here at 446.60 once I notice that SPY is reacting as a resistance. It's struggling to break out. It's starting to fall from this level. When I get those bearish confirmations, that's when I'm going to be playing a high conviction play with a very decent position size to buy some put options for a day trade. Now, in terms of swing trading put options, what would need to happen is I would need to see a bearish candlestick, and I don't know this until the market is about to close. So in terms of my swing trading style, I would have to see something like this. See how there's this line right here that represents a gap fill. See how as soon as SPY fills the gap, what does it do? it closes red, right? But we don't know where it's going to close. So what I'm telling you is in terms of a swing trade, if SPY is forming a bearish candlestick closing weak um, as it fills that gap, right? So if it looks red like this, if it looks red like this, see how the top is at that line and what happens? It sells off hard. It sells off hard. So what I'm telling you is if SPY is closing bearish when it fills that gap at 446, once I see some bearish, once I see a bearish candlestick coming in on the daily at 446, that's when I swing trade and buy the put options. So I just gave you two potential trades, um, you know, and the confirmations that I'm looking for in terms of day trades and swing trades. And that is going to be the best setup at the best price. That gap should fill this week. That's going to be the number one setup in terms of the put options. Now you know when to be short biased. Now you know what nobody else is talking about, what nobody else is teaching. That's going to work. So use that. In terms of call opportunities, um, you have to understand if you do buy calls from here, it's a bit of a chase because SPY was at 410 and now it's all the way at 438. So if you are going to play more of a micro call, make sure you scale back in size and just understand you're no longer in at the best prices. In terms of micro call continuation, um, that is something, you know, so in terms of SPY, if it gaps up, right? wait for it to go back to the previous closing price if you see it react as support if you see it's filled the gap it looks bullish then you could try buying the dip with a tight stop just to understand you know spy right here this gap fill if this reacted as resistance it would have fell off a cliff the trend would have shifted but it reacted as support that's why you got to use the tight stop losses right on whether you're going long or short it's a trend reversal strategy but if it doesn't reverse and the trend keeps going against you you got to get out very very quickly because the trend reversal is not going to happen all the time like it did in this case scenario that was a gap fill strategy and then a gap close reversal strategy the two strategies that i consistently use to make money within this market and what i'm telling you right now is in terms of the call side there were two phenomenal trading opportunities with my strategies where you could have bought calls on. And right now, this is an overreaction for the micro. SPY is still on track to fill the gap at 446. I'm not saying it's gonna happen right away, but I do believe it's gonna happen this week. But I'm just telling you, you're towards the upper end of the channel and we could see a very nice potential crash at 446. So if you are gonna play the call side, be cautious, take lighter sides, be careful and just understand it could be a good setup, but it's not at the best price. You just have to understand within these two past Within these three past days of trading, from here to here, that was where the big money was made, where we were killing it, where we were crushing it, like we did on Thursday, like we did on Friday. So ease the brakes a little bit, and if you want to wait for that best price, best setup, 
wait for the put opportunity at 446. In the meantime, you could try a call, um, but you got to wait for bullish confirmation. So like I said, if it gaps up, wait for it to go back to the previous closing price to fill the gap. You see it react to support, pick up the calls, go in lighter. Just to understand it's not the best thing. It's not the best setup because it's in the middle of the channel. Um, if it doesn't gap up, if it gaps down, then I really wouldn't do anything. I really wouldn't. I would just kind of sit on the sidelines. I would kind of just wait for that gap to fill for a put opportunity at 446. That's kind of the plans moving forward. So it's kind of for me, um, for the most part, kind of just sidelines. We'll see. But I am very bullish on the SPY and I am expecting it to fill the gap at 446. Once I get bearish confirmations at 446 for the micro, I'll take the day trade. And then in terms of my macro confirmation, I need a bearish confirmation on the daily chart. I need a candle like this. I need a candle like this, a red bearish candle to swing trade it. That is my game plan moving forward. If you guys want to hit big, if you want to make a 200, a 300, a 400, a 500% return on an option contract, you should only be making about one to three trades per week. In terms of like opportunities and in terms of with my strategy and the consistency and the best setups at the best prices, I've identified that on average, there is about two opportunities per week that can generate very lucrative returns. We saw it with space call option um, two weeks ago, the 400% return. We saw it with the lucid put option, 400% return two weeks ago. And then in terms of this week, we saw the amazing opportunity with the put options that was a 268% return. And then on the call side, we saw the opportunities if you were patient and if you were playing for history to repeat itself and bold enough to hold through that move, the call options exploded. You know, I had, mem I had some members make a 400% return on those calls. And with that being said, that is the game. That is the price action analysis. So I gave you the key levels. That's what I'm looking for on, on the SPY. And that's going to be the plan moving forward. Now, I want to give some big shout outs to, um, you know, some members within Trader Society and just go over some of the commentary. So in terms of the watch list, we had a killer, um, I spoke about this um, a week ago, stating in the watch list, let me see if I can find it here real quick. I'm telling you, we had people kill it on this particular trade, uh, IRNT. I had some people make over 100% return um, on this IRNT trade. I can't find it. But with that being said, like right here, this is the watch list section. This is where I give trade ideas and stock analysis as well. I stated at 11.02 a.m., IRNT has filled the gap from 680. It's reacting as a resistance, possible opportunity to buy a put. When I stated that, these out of money $6 strike contracts, same day expiration, were at like 12 cents. They went all the way to 22 cents at one point. I had members make over 100% on this. This was the gap close reversal strategy, same strategy that I'm planning to use on SPY, same strategy that you could have used on SPY for the calls um, on Friday. And I had members do that and they killed it. Well, this was the same strategy using on the inverse for the puts. There was a gap to fill right here on IRNT at 680. And I called this out, bringing awareness to this, you know, stating that this is a massive gap. If this fills, the stock has huge downside potential. It's consistently reaching for new all time lows. It's going to be a phenomenal opportunity to buy the put options when this gap at 680 fills, because it's going to be an extremely overbought level for a potential gap close reversal. Even on the previous day, um, it had a nice big gain, but it ended up closing weak, losing a lot of its gains. And that history repeated itself. And you could see the gap close reversal strategy worked. And when I called that out, it was great timing as well to consider put options, you know, just holding these out, riding these out throughout the day, playing for that gap to fill below at 520. Members made a very nice 100% plus return just based off of that idea. And then we also had many members play the SPY micro bullish move, the SPY gap close reversal. So remember, the gap close reversal move, you guys know that 420. Um, so just, just to give you some better sense in terms of the SPY, right? This is key information, right? So for those of you who stay to the end of these videos, you really get rewarded. So make sure you know you're taking notes in this sense. And we know, um, you know, so what has SPY been doing, right? I'm gonna show you what it's been doing, and this will really give you better understanding on when the bulls can take control and when to buy calls um, and when trends can shift. This is key support at 457. It cracks, it explodes back up. Previous support right here at 457 reacts as a resistance. What does it do? What does it do? It crashes. What does it do? It crashes. It forms new support at 440, 444 right here, which was previous resistance. You can see if that cracks, it's going to have a big pullback. And you can see right here it cracked. It had a nice pullback. Your new support right here is at 435. It rips back up to the previous support. It rips back up to the previous support. Notice how the highs of these rips are at your previous support, 457. 
cracks 444 where are the highs of these rips right here towards 444 446 your previous support cracks 435 where's your new high right here at 435 right here at 435 notice how spy is consistently turning previous support into resistance whenever it rips back up but once that changes, once it no longer does that, and when it cracks and then it retests that previous support, it turns it into actual support, that's when SPY is going to explode. That's when you look to buy the calls. And that's exactly what happened on Friday. You could see right here, your previous support was at $421, right? Where's the next support level from that? It explodes up all the way to here towards like 430s, towards these uh, tops of these wicks right here towards 430s. So you know... If 421 reacts as a support level and it does not react as a resistance level, and you know if it's, if it's looking bullish on the daily and it's blowing through 421 and that's reacting as support, that's your confirmation that the trend has shifted for the SPY because previous support on the retest is no longer reacting as resistance. It's reacting as a support. It's been reacting as resistance since here, since February 9th. So if you're getting that major shift of reversal at key level, SPY is going to fly. And then it's going to start to fill that gap at 446 um, as it did. And you know for a strong continuation of trend, if SPY gaps up, and we know this is a key level right here, right? We know this is a key zone, 427, 430. That's a key zone. If SPY holds that zone, this is going to fly. As history shows, this can rip very, very quickly. And there's a gap to fill at 446. And in terms of confirmations, confirmation was as soon as I sold my puts. As soon as SPY filled the gap and it reacted as a support level. This is where it filled the gap. What did it do? It consolidated. It bounced. It started turning previous resistance into support. Resistance right here into support. Pre-market highs right here into support. When you see those confirmations, that's when you know to buy the dip. And that's what a lot of you guys did. So big shout out um, to all of you within the chat room, guys. You absolutely crushed it. I mean, the results, like the results have been crazy. $4,000 profit in one single week. I mean, that's over 10 times the cost to join Trader Society. Congratulations for having a very successful first week. Um, Casper, like I said, you know, just two weeks. 14k profit his account is over 25k huge milestone to be above the pdc real big shout out to him um 90k into 500k i mean i'm just gonna like scroll through some of the shit like it's insane like how fast this is really growing and like how active we're becoming as a community and it's i'm telling you guys this is gonna be like this is gonna be big um let me see gosh there's just so much going on um let's see let's see okay let's go to the price action on friday let's see so yesterday and we are towards um okay so yeah let's see towards market open so yeah bobby he's absolutely killing it he nailed it on the spy call options he averaged out for 53 percent return um loving the consistency gear war absolutely crushed it 32 percent return on the spy calls 35 percent return on the spy calls i mean you guys she just joined the program i remember she made it like a hundred and eight percent return um this was a great alert Han solo ended up buying call options on apple that was alerted at 10 31 a.m those printed he made over 300 percent. i remember that um like you guys are absolutely crushing on the call side back to back um gear war called out very very early at 703 a.m cup and handle formed on the five minutes it's about to break resistance my plan is to follow the micro and the micro is bullish right he absolutely crushed it trading the futures he took his account from 90k to 500k and like i said you know you can use these strategies what i i just want you to understand i teach you how to trade the chart i teach you how to trade the price action analysis you can use that with whatever you want to trade whether that's like a cfd whether that's um options whether that's shares stocks whether that's uh, futures you can use it on whatever how you want to use it um my personal preference is um to trade options on the high price stocks and then on the lower price stocks, another strategy I have, like I showed you guys on IRNT, typically on small cap stocks, I like to, um, you know, trade shares and I like to short the hard to borrow ones using my gap flow strategy. Like IRNT, that was a great opportunity for that. Um, she ate, congratulations. I mean, we all ate as a team, 108% return on the spy calls. Like guys, you're absolutely crushing it. I really do want to give a big shout out to the team. I mean, 226% call 40. Like it's just the results that you guys are getting that we're getting. 
I'm telling you, Thursday and Friday were very, very big days. And the next big day is when SPY hits 446. That's when the next big, big day is. You have to understand these big days, they're not luck. They're at random. We're trading at key specific levels that come once to twice a week. Um, stamina, 61% return on the SPY calls. Like, the results have been absolutely insane. Um, and yeah, you got to be able to recognize like, you know, when to be patient and when to really hold these out. And these past two days, those were really the opportunities um, to do so. And then gear where here it is, his account ended up surpassing over 500K. That's a big milestone, especially from being under six figures from having 90K three weeks ago. That is a huge milestone. I mean, the amount of doubles, like that's like a 4X return, um, nearly a 5X return within, you know, Three weeks it's it's absolutely insane 90k to 90k to 500k in, in three weeks like you guys are absolutely crushing it and we're going to continue to do so because what we have is a strategy that consistently works it's a very high quality strategy and it works when we trade the best setups at the best prices it does not come around every day we're talking like two to three opportunities per week where we can hit big like this thursday and friday that's not an everyday thing that comes around like twice a week usually um, and you have to be able to recognize when it comes around and we are able to recognize and we do have that awareness. That's the thing. If you're going to trade every single day, it is going to throw you off your game. That's the thing. Like some people, they'll try to micro, they'll try to trade every day. They'll use the strategies. Um, you know, these, these opportunities in terms of like strategies, almost every single day, stocks are filling the gaps and having reversals, right? That's like an everyday thing. It's just, it's not an everyday thing to have it at such key levels like this. And if you're just going to micro scalp and try to day trade every day, there's going to be two types of trading styles. There's going to be a style where you get in, you get out for a quick return. But then when you're trading at the best key levels, that's something where your entry is so good. You want to be patient. You want to kind of hold that out, take advantage of that big lucrative return, which your phenomenal entry um, and those big moves, right? So you kind of have to go back and forth with your whole mind on that. I would just tell you guys to really focus on the best setups at the best prices at the trade at the key levels only instead of all this in-between nonsense. That's where the small money is made. That's where it's very hard to make money. The easy money is in the key levels and those only come around twice a week. And understand if you do both types of trading styles, um, you're going to have to trade differently each time, which is very, very hard to do. And it's going to mess with each different style of trading. And, you know, that's that's just not ideal. Focus on the big wins. There's big wins in the stock market. There's life changing trades trades within the stock market. But you got to focus on those only. If you focus on other stuff, it's going to take away from the big stuff. You're not going to trade the big stuff as good. You're not going to do as well. So that's what I would recommend. Less is more, guys. Focus on the high quality setups like we did on Thursday and Friday. Time to take a step back. Wait for the great opportunity for the puts at 446. Um, but again, huge shout out to all of you. Like the result, I can like you guys. The results like. It's crazy, like the amount of results and opportunity. Um, like it's it's absolute. This guy, I remember, he posted he made over nine thousand dollars on spy um, calls and puts. Like the returns are just absolutely insane. It's it's just crazy what we did. Yeah, nine thousand six hundred dollar prop. Like big shout out to everyone, guys. And I'm telling you, with this strategy and what we have, it's real. It happens. This and and I want to make it very clear. It's very it is realistic to buy calls at the bottom in this situation, to buy calls at the bottom of this situation. And it is realistic to hold those. If you're going to get a phenomenal entry, then you have the power to really be patient. And yeah, like lock in some profits along the ways. But I'm telling you, it is realistic to make some insane returns within this market. But what I am telling you, with what we have, it's special and it is realistic to do. Um, but if you're going to trade every single day, those opportunities aren't going to come around every single day. So what I'm telling you is focus on trading the best setups at the best prices. Just focus on those. It'll be life-changing, game-changing. I'm talking like two to three trades per week, key levels only. We know the SPY puts 446. That's the key level. That's where I plan to make money. You just trade those types of setups, you are going to do very, very well. But if you're bouncing around all over the place, you know, trying to chase, trading in between, not trading over reactions, you're just trading this, the chop, you're trying to trade every day. If you don't have that awareness, if you don't have that conscientiousness um you know i mispronounced that but if you don't have that conscientiousness if you don't have that you're just you're not gonna do anything great you're not gonna have these amazing trades you're not gonna see amazing results you have to put yourself in a situation where you're deserving to make very lucrative returns to get what you want you have to deserve what you want at the end of the day and i'm telling you guys just just think about it like you know these are our portfolios these are our accounts at the end of the day we should be focused on the highest quality setups. We should be trading the best setups at the best prices. 
We should be doing less, not more. We should be focused and prepared for the best setups at the best prices. So that's what we got to do, guys. To get these results consistently, we have to focus on the preparation. We have to focus on, you know, preparing, premeditated trading. That's what we got to be doing. And understand, those opportunities come around two times, two to three times per week. That's what we're talking about. One to three times per week. That's like the average, right? So don't go making stupid trades. Don't go giving it all back. Let's continue to kill it. Let's focus on high quality setups only, right? And we know looking at the chart, because that's what we do. We trade the chart. We trade the price action, right? Um, with that being said, we know 446 is a high level of interest for the SPY puts. And I keep saying this because in terms of overreactions, we're seeing an overreaction for the micro. And once, in terms of swing trading, once we get some bearish candles towards that key level, the, the amount of profit we can make on that, I mean, we're looking at at least a 200% return on the put options. And that's what we got to wait for. So it's time to step back. It's time to get laser focused on resetting for the best setups at the best prices. And 446 is going to be the level of interest of four puts. Very interesting level for calls that caught my attention is going to be right here as well at 435. If we see 435 react as strong support, I might consider taking a call with a very tight stop loss. 435 to 432 is a level of interest for calls to ride the gap up to fill at 446. Just understand that's towards the middle of the channel. Best thing is going to be those puts uh, towards 446 macro puts and a micro trade as well. So yeah, that's my plans. That's what I'm waiting for looking forward. For those of you who are interested in joining Trader Society, that's going to be that first link down below in the description. Um, so within the program, you are going to learn how to trade. You are going to learn how to trade stocks, how to trade price action, right? You're going to learn how to be able to read and trade the chart. You're going to learn the technical trading strategies, the psychology, the risk management. You're also going to get lifetime access to the chat room, lifetime access to one-on-one -on -one direct messaging with me and members within the chat room, um, you know, lifetime access to the daily watch list and lifetime access to the live trading stream that we do every single day at market open lifetime access to the video lesson library with all the education. There's so much more to it. It is going to be the first link in the description. You can get started as soon as you're done watching this video. You click that first link, you get instant access to the entire program and you can start trading live with this as soon as market open on Monday. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it off at that. I'm looking forward to continuing to work it to work with you guys. Um, and man, I'm very happy with the results we are getting because this is truly going to be life changing. This is truly just the beginning of what you guys are seeing. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys um, within the next video from here. I'll see you guys within the chat room and it's going to be that first link in the description.